I became a cancer survivor when I was diagnosed with tongue cancer in 2001. My biggest challenge at first was the way that I looked. I think the primary thing that still challenges me sometimes is my speech. I'm a teacher. I use verbal communication all the time. Even though I work in, in special ed and I, I work with people with disabilities, I got to sit on their side of the street for a while. I remember walking into McDonald's to get some coffee very early after my surgery and I couldn't say coffee or tell them what I wanted. And I remember the gal on the other side kind of looking at me and then going, oh, okay, whatever. And then I really got a look at how it is to have to be in a world where you had to really you know, work at being a part of it, the speech and, and being walking around and that kind of thing and having people look at you or kind of overlook you sometimes too. When I left the hospital, I couldn't talk, I couldn't walk, and I wanted to get out. I wanted to communicate. I didn't have a trach tube when I came home, but I had, you know, a bunch of scarring and different things, and nerves cut and that kind of stuff. So it was all a lot of retraining. And as soon as I felt good enough about myself, that's when I went to the wellness center and got hooked up in a support group there with other, it was men and women, talk about, you know, the different stages in their treatment. And when I remember, my first session there, um, sitting in a group of people, and it, up until that time, my experience with support groups have all been, you know, the uh, addictions or <laughs> alcoholism. Here it was cancer, and I, it was interesting because these guys just welcomed me. It didn't bother them a bit how I looked, how I talked, nothing. They put their hands on my leg and said, "It's going to be okay." Well and they taught me so much about treatment. They taught me how to ask questions and not be afraid to, to confront the doctor and say, you know, what I needed to say and get answers from him. You know, I wanted back what I had before the surgery and I was willing to do whatever it took to get there. And those people helped me to do that. Organ donation, I think, is very important. I ended up going to UCLA and having what's called free flap surgery. And free flap surgery is they removed the cancer, which was at the base of my mouth. So they took out the floor of my mouth, part of my tongue, my mandible, my jaw on the right hand side, and replaced it with bone tissue and arteries and veins from my leg. My fibula became my jaw. You know, I'm the end product of a lot of other people's research and time and that kind of stuff. I, of all people, know how important, well, I didn't have a transplant, obviously, but I had one part of my body move someplace else and doing something different. And the only way that these doctors found out that these, these things can be done is by practicing. And organ donation, I think, provides that practice. That's all it is. I mean, I'm benefited from a lot of people's struggles that came before me. I'm Jenny Shawn, and I'm a three and a half year tongue cancer survivor.